JRPGs, a longtime genre that evolved from the likes of Dungeons and & Dragons and text-based adventures of the 1970s. Often revered for their story, characters, and battle systems, however, one aspect of JRPGs that we often forget about are puzzles. Hello there, welcome back to Shinky JRPGs, and today we are talking about puzzles and the absence of them as of late. Puzzles are used to add flavor and uniqueness to dungeons, and without them, something just doesn't feel right. So strap yourselves in, grab a snack, and get ready to hear about my own personal meat and potatoes of JRPG puzzles. Puzzles have been an integral part of the JRPG experience as far back as the original Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. Puzzles were not as we know them today. They were limited generally to decrypting NPCs' dialogue to solve puzzles to progress with the plot, or to find a powerful piece of equipment. An example of this would be the location of Erdrick's armor in Dragon Quest 1, or being hinted that you need explosives to get into the outer sea of Final Fantasy 1. The puzzle in this case would be to find out where you would need to find this explosive, or hints of where the armor was. Not incredibly deep, but puzzles were still there and helped complete the grand scope of what a JRPG was. So what happened? Why have puzzles stopped being such an integral part of JRPGs over the last 5-10 to 10 years? Personally, I think they've stopped being so common due to the overall pace of the games. RPGs and games as a whole have generally increased in pace. From the storytelling to the combat systems, even exploration seems to be delivered at a faster pace as well. Puzzles by design slow down the progression of a game. Instead of running into a plot puzzle, it's much more effective and visually appealing to have an action-packed, cinematic event that explains the next goal and reasons for it. Another reason puzzles have been slowly phased out is frustration. There is a delicate balance between a puzzle that's balanced and a puzzle that can ruin the enjoyment and pacing of a game. Simple block puzzles or ice slide puzzles are an example of a balanced puzzle that require little brain power to solve. The Pokemon games are a prime example of this. However, logic puzzles that require you to solve a riddle in order to succeed in the puzzle Wild Arms 2's Spiral Tower is a definite example of this. Some of these can be extremely frustrating and become a wall of progress and absolutely nobody likes that. Now puzzles haven't entirely disappeared from JRPGs as of late. Sea of Stars, just recently released, does puzzles incredibly well. They're quick, they're manageable, and don't hinder the experience at all. They usually just involve moving blocks, lighting up orbs in the right order, or moving spheres from one place to another while pressing switches. They don't present too many issues, but they still breathe life into the dungeons. As this is a game that is meant to replicate games of the 90s, this is completely understandable to replicate the puzzles that were all too common back in those days. So no puzzles, no big deal, right? No puzzles mean an easier and more streamlined experience, right? I personally do not believe that's true. If you have no puzzles, then dungeons just become running from point A to point B with no surprises and a lapsed sense of linearity. Puzzles breathe a bit of life into dungeons, along with making the dungeon a little more memorable. If we have no puzzles, then there's no real player engagement. No puzzles gives the same energy as running down a hallway with nothing to look at. Wouldn't you rather run down a forest trail with nature to experience, squirrel over here, dog over there, rather than just a blank hallway with nothing out of the ordinary? That's what I thought. While linearity isn't necessarily a bad thing, unique puzzles make the experience memorable and something you will remember for years to come. Puzzles are just one of those things that you require to complete the JRPG experience. It rewards critical thinking, making you feel accomplished, adding variety to the gameplay loop, and enhancing immersion. Without puzzles, dungeons are like macaroni without cheese, or peanut butter without jelly, or even spaghetti without meatballs, and of course, meat without potatoes. And now I'm hungry, but you get the point. So I want to ask you, could puzzles make a comeback into mainstream JRPGs? I think they could, but it might be difficult to balance them. Personally, what I think would be a good idea would be something along the lines of what Tales of Legendia did with its puzzle rooms. Let you try to complete a puzzle on your own. However, if you get stuck, let the game give you an option to bypass or complete the puzzle for you. You could even give a trophy if you manage to complete it on your own, so there's at least a little bit of a reward for it. This way, you could have the difficulty of puzzles, but it wouldn't ruin the pace of the game. This would satisfy both players that enjoy puzzles and those who would rather just focus on the plot. Oh, puzzles. A very important, but very delicate inclusion in RPGs. It's a difficult aspect to get just right, but when you do, it makes the whole experience something to remember. What are your experiences with JRPG puzzles? Should they come back? 
Let me know in the comments below. I always look forward to hearing the community's opinions and thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy and want more of this type of content. Anyways, that's the meat potatoes, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.